This video shows you how to use the ruler and the fence stops on your saw stop compact table saw. You use the ruler with the rip fence when making rip cuts. The fence stops prevent the fence from contacting the blade. As always, take precautions before working on the saw. Turn off the power switch. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. The ruler has two scales. When you mount the rip fence on the lugs to the right of the blade, closest to the blade, refer to the scale farthest from the front of the saw. I'll refer to this as the upper scale. When you use the lugs to the right of the blade but farthest from the blade, use the lower scale. Use the outboard lugs to access the saw's wider and widest rip cutting capacity. If using the mounting lugs to the left of the blade, flip the fence so that the working face is towards the blade. With the rip fence mounted to the left of the blade, refer to the upper scale and subtract the intended width from 12. For example, if I need a 3 and 3 16 inch cut, I subtract that value from 12. I set the position indicator over 8 and 13 16 When making narrow cuts, use the low fence. The low fence is 2 inches wide, so subtract 2 inches from the indicated value to get the intended cut width. Or another way to think of it is to add 2 inches to the intended width. In this example, the intended cut width is 3 quarters of an inch, so I set the position indicator to 2 and 3 quarters. If the fence contacts the spinning blade, the brake cartridge will activate. The fence stops are designed to prevent the fence from contacting the blade. If you need to make a cut that is more narrow than the fence stops will permit, you can override the stops. With the blade stopped, push in the stop that's farthest from the rip fence and hold. The stops are geared together so that retracting one retracts the other. Now carefully move the rip fence over the stop. Only override the stops with the blade stopped and override only when necessary. Again, use extra caution if you override the stops. If the fence contacts the spinning blade, the brake will activate. As mentioned, use the low fence for narrow cuts. Use extra caution here as the fence stops will not prevent the low fence from contacting the blade. Plug in the saw. Unlock the power switch. That's it. You have learned how to use the ruler and the fence stops on your saw stop compact table saw. See the fence alignment video or the manual to learn how to align the rip fence. And see the video showing how to calibrate the position indicator. If you have questions, contact saw stop service.